Hello. Hi. Hi, Grayson. Hi. Here's a little holiday recap for you. Just see, okay? See what happens. But I said, look, let me get Grayson today because you'll be tired and then you're driving to Ottawa and back. What the hell? Get that ways thing going. Watch out for cops for me. Okay. You have arrived at your destination. Mine's up there. See if you can see where this is from. Hmm? Funny looking. 1.9 kilometers. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto NCC driveway. And her name is Riley. That makes it even more confusing. <laughs> Butter charts? You guys want to do it? Cheers? Cheers. It took me 10 years sure. to get him to go to Cheers, them. guys. Cheers. 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 Hey. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. All comfortable and probably takes off his shoes. And... Is that your seahorse? No! Once we got back to Fleming, we dove right back into work and we actually started our first multi-day hiking trip. Our group for the hike was Jordan, Alyssa, Emma, Lucas, Sarah, and Patrick. We also had a really cool guide named Ashley for the trip. Now originally we were actually supposed to go on a seven day trip through Algonquin Park, but instead we were having a four day trip through the Ganaraska Trail. At first, I will admit, I was really disappointed that we didn't get to make it, but it was the reason behind it was the strike, and it's really complicated. But honestly, now that I look back at it, I'm pretty glad that we didn't actually go to Algonquin, because if I'm being frank, I, I was not ready for that. And even with our good spirits, honestly, the start of the hike was a challenge, to say the least. <laughs> like, a major challenge. Um, Way they went. God, yeah. you're gonna break all your ankles. Mm. Mm. Doggy. Mm. Yeah. Photographer him. Photographer him. Graceful. <laughs> Hell yeah. Huh. 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 Well, if I fall, it's gonna break anyway. I might as well get it on film. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Huh? Oh. There you go. Nice. That's a whole lot of wet foot. Oh. Once that chaos was over, we spent the rest of the day continuing on the hike. Ashley had told us that our camp really wasn't that far ahead, and she also told us that the view was pretty. And then the last day, we'll we'll haul it back. Oh, I loved it. Realistically though, it was an understatement. I honestly ended up just falling in love with this view. After we took a quick break to kind of gather ourselves and to take in the view, it was time to dive back into work because we had to set up our camp. Taking care of business every day. That night, I was on tent duty, meaning I had to help set up all the tents. It's very, very serious business on 10 duty. The bitch is gonna be lightheaded after. The bitch is already lightheaded. Like, honestly, there's actually a lot of stress involved. Nice ass, Patrick. Once I survived that endeavor, it was time to start making dinner, and tonight's dinner was camp pizzas. Yum, 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 yum. For any of you that don't know this about me, I am addicted to pizza. Um, I never used to make pizza. I got it, thank you very much. Yum, 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 yum. But it's, it's <laughs> As for the night time, once we were done dinner, the only thing we really had to do was make sure that the food was secure so animals couldn't get it. Don't fuck it up. Oh, you almost got it. <laughs> Ow, my fingers. There you go. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> but once we were done that, 
We had the rest of the night pretty much just to enjoy ourselves. What? Show me how you're holding it. <laughs> Good fire attending there. Yo, that's so cool. Put it, do it, do it again. Do a little dance. So Make a little love. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Get down tonight. It looks like one of those things on Get down. YouTube. Man, that's trippy as all hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Go, Jordan. Oh my god. Hey, don't fall. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> then came the morning. Morning, Jordan. Morning. We all woke in pretty good spirits, and it actually really didn't take that long to cook breakfast. Mm. During breakfast, we had our prof and actually fellow YouTuber Kevin Callen join us. He's on YouTube known as the Happy Camper, and you should check him out. I'm switching groups. <laughs> Come join us. Yep, yep. I'm out of that group and going into the, the high class up here. It was really nice hanging out with Kevin, but unfortunately the reason why he was actually with us that meal was because he was letting us know that Jordan had to leave early and we weren't going to have him around for the rest of the trip. See you later, Jordan. Peace. Have a good strike. Before Kevin and Jordan left the group, Kevin decided that we should give Jordan a final goodbye ritual. We're going to hit a tree. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go, Jordan. Now don't toot. <laughs> Once we were done, whatever that was, Jordan was finally off. Okay. I'm all alone. Wait, I'm so yeah. lost with that. And it really wasn't shortly after that that we were too. And then otherwise they're on the other side. Fuck. So. <laughs> of course, right as we set out for the day, it started to rain. Luckily though, everyone's spirits were still pretty high. Unfortunately though, that really didn't last long. I was just thinking, coming up this on the way back is gonna suck. No shit. Careful on these slippery rocks. No kidding, eh? Once that hill kicked all of our asses, we got up to the top and we managed to meet up with Kevin and his group. Okay. Okay. Right. Mitchell! Let's go hey. During lunch, Kevin and Ashley got together and they had a discussion that we needed to figure out what was going on that night. Really, we only had two choices. We could either continue on and find a new camp or we could turn around and find another one. Kevin was under the impression that there were good camps up ahead, but due to the fact that people in our group had injuries, we wanted to go up ahead, scout it out, and make sure if it was actually going to work out or not. To get everything over there and back in one easy motion, we decided to get a small group of us together. We were going to take off our bags, and that we were just going to go out and basically go on a scouting mission. Only a small group of us versus, like, all of us. And honestly, this was probably one of my favorite parts of the whole trip. I know, we're all too excited. We lose all the weight. Next thing you know, we're sprinting down a trail. Oh, we also get yeah. together to the other spot. Yeah. And then other spot. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, like this whole group in that. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Group Whoop. Group. <laughs> and yes, for all of my friends that really know me, that watch my videos, this is the definition of a butter's moment. Okay. Please don't eat shit. Please don't eat shit. Please don't eat shit. Cool. Nice. Cool. It's really slippery drink. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Step right in the center. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, Whoa. Right the oh. 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 Man. <laughs> Fuck everything about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got it on film! After I laughed it off and made sure nothing was broken, we continued on trying to find the other campsites. Hey. My favorite thing in the world to walk in. Bogs. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Damn. So right now we're trying to scope out where exactly we're going to camp and we can only find bush. But like way over there, we got a campsite. After finding the campsites and realizing that there was a lake separating us from them, we decided that Kevin's group was going to go ahead, but our group with all the injured people was going to turn around and we were going to head back to an easier campsite. Right before we got to the campsite though, we discovered a little friend. Yeah. We found a little buddy. Eat. Once we were done admiring the little guy, our hike back officially started, and at that point I came to the realization that that funny fall I did earlier really actually wasn't all that funny.
And at this point, it wasn't even just me that was starting to feel really tired. <laughs> Dead. I think we should okay. Do girls in the one tent and Dead as fuck. Tiny two okay. Mm -hmm. Dying. Dead. Once we actually got to our campsite, we realized it also had a really, really nice view. When Patrick went down to the water, he started skipping rocks. We all figured out that he was actually fucking awesome at skipping rocks. When I looked down at the side, I saw this perfect place where I could go down and get a vantage shot and try to get some shots of him going at it. And, of course, on my way down, I fell. Again. My tailbone smacked right down into the rock, I smashed my shoulder into the side, and I'm lucky enough not to hit my head. But at that point, honestly, like all kidding aside, I was in an excruciating amount of pain. Luckily though, I have some absolutely amazing friends who are there to take care of me. Oh. <laughs> Due to the fact that everyone, including myself, was pretty hurt at that point, I really didn't film a lot that night. I didn't get any footage for the most part. Later on that night though, when it got really, really dark, things became really, really clear and the clouds went away. We actually got some really, really cool nighttime photography in. And honestly, I'm pretty fucking proud of it. Even though I was really hyped after taking those pictures, I won't lie, this next morning hit us all really hard. And it reached the point where we actually had to call Val and she had to come and help get Sarah out because her back was hurting way too much to continue. In order to get Sarah out safely though, we had to hike to Val. Luckily, she really wasn't actually that far away. Val to the rescue! <laughs> okay, good. Okay. You're free, Sarah. Once Sarah was out safe, we had lost a good chunk of our day, so instead of going up to the top of the mountain like we had planned, we were just going to spend the rest of the day taking in the sights. They don't bite, yeah. Oh, jumpy yeah, little. And let me tell you, we saw some sights. What the hell did we just stumble upon? Zig, you sexy piece of man meat, how you doing? Great, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. How do you, hey, look, hey! <laughs> Of course, it wouldn't be a day of hiking in the Ganaraska Forest if we didn't have to climb that bloody hill at least one more time. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> at this point, with the injuries and the multiple days of hiking, this hill had officially beaten me. <sighs> yeah, Grayson! <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> when we were at the top, we managed to actually bump into Jamie's group this time, which was kind of cool because we hadn't gotten to see these guys for a while. I have to get your get up in the vlog. In the which? In my vlog. After we met up with the other group, we had the discussion saying that it would probably be safe and smarter for all of us to camp somewhat near each other. What I didn't know is that meant that we were going to all camp at the exact same campsite. Oh. Got some newbies to the group. Good. What's up, roomies? It was hands down one of the best decisions that we had ever made. Hi Josh, nice butt man. Howdy sailor. Come here often? Uh, I'm just hanging. <laughs> For the most part, this night was one of the easiest and it was almost completely stress free. Almost. In case you missed it in that last shot, I managed to cut my hand while I was dealing with some firewood. At this point in the night, I was tired, beaten up, literally bleeding, and I had a belly full of food. So honestly, I really didn't actually stay awake that night for very long. I did, however, get woken up in the middle of the night by this crazy ass rain. Luckily though, we totally missed all of that during the night, and we didn't even get rained on until very, very later on in the day. After our fastest and easiest breakfast yet, we very quickly took down the camp, and shortly after that, we were finally heading back to the bus. Home sweet home! Yeah. This was a good campsite. Yeah, it was. It goes without saying though, it wouldn't be a day of hiking in the Ganaraska if there weren't a few challenges to face. I do not remember being up this high. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not excited for this. Kind of a good picture, yeah. Ugh. Totally did it. I mean, if you can't. 
But if there's one thing that my program has taught me, it's that life is full of small challenges. And sometimes at the end of the day, the small challenges can actually lead to really, really big victories. Done, man. Five minutes. Thank the fucking Lord. <laughs> Finally, at the end of the four days, I can honestly say I had such an appreciation for hiking as an actual sport, realized it's really not something to be dealt with lightly. In truth, this video and the trip itself was honestly one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with, and I really hope you ended up liking it. If you could, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, and of course, have a kick-ass day.